hey welcome to another vlog this vlog is going to be just basically going throughout the city out and about with me to run errands and do all sorts of stuff but i definitely want to show you guys um my first experience doing acupuncture uh i my doctor i'm going to this new facility and my doctor had highly recommended it they actually offer it at the facility and after doing research I realized that my insurance actually covers like 20 appointments a year or something like that um so it was very interesting it's my first time so check this clip out here of me actually getting the acupuncture Okay, so as you can see, I had the needles, I had, um, I did have a consultation, obviously, her explaining it to me, asking me what's my concerns, um, things of that nature. I don't know how I feel as of yet, because it is something that's new. Um, I'm not afraid of needles. I love tattoos. Um, when I get shopped at the doctor, it's not a big deal to me, anything like that. But I can tell you, it's very interesting getting acupuncture because, of course Obama's in the background making noise, but it's interesting because you are not visually seeing where she's sticking. I mean, she is telling you, but she's just sticking it. And the thing is, is I've realized with the acupuncture, it's sort of like a, a little bit of a jab. Like they take the needle and they kind of go you know, like to jab it in. And then in some places she taps on the top of the needle. So that can cause just like a pinch uncomfort cause you're just kind of like, you're not seeing where she's putting it while you're laying on the bed. And then two, if it is uncomfortable, you know, she says, let me know. And obviously she'll adjust it, but it's just that constant motion of a needle just going in. And it's, not really a needle needle guys so i don't want you to think of it that way it's literally a little flexy like rod if you will that just pricks your skin a little bit i know it's interesting um i can say there was two spots that felt a little uncomfortable at first but after like a few seconds it kind of like settled and got into place like where it needed to be or like felt like it was like you know standing in that point of where it needed to be the right way so i don't know it was interesting i can't say i'd never do it again because i want to continue it and she did say you have to do like 
up to six weeks consistently just to see if you can feel the like holistic approach and change and all that stuff and I'm as y'all know very into holistic approaches and all that stuff um I can tell you guys so let me just sit down so I can explain this just a little bit I can tell you guys that I felt like when the needles were in my stomach, I felt my actual insides feeling like they were breaking down and kind of moving around. And then whatever was like causing harm in my stomach that I've been experiencing felt like it was pushing downwards. Like it was trying to get rid of something, trying to detoxify something or something of that sort. And I mentioned that to her and she's like, yeah, that makes sense, you know, because, you know, a part of the process of acupuncture or whatever. So I don't know, you guys should try it out at least once or at least I say try out something at least, you know, a couple times just to see. Um, I will keep y'all updated because I have committed to at least the six weeks uh, so once a week just to see if it's something I want to continue doing or if it even helps at all anyway. Um, but I will keep y'all posted. But in the meantime, I'm about to get ready to walk Obama. And then on my lunch, I'm going to go get a facial. Um, it's Friday. So by the time you guys see this, you'll see this this coming Sunday. I'm trying to be actually more proactive with recording within the week too. Sometimes it's hard because you have stuff that you do on a Sunday and you're trying to put a video up on a Sunday. Sometimes you won't see what I do on that Sunday until the following Sunday. But anyways, um, I'm going to go get a facial, my monthly facial. Probably not going to show you all that because I've already seen it a few times. Um, and then I'm going to go to this uh, car uh, body place to look at something really quick. And then I'm going to come back. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to do a few errands. So I'll probably take y'all with me on that. But other than that, <clears throat> I'm trying to, y'all, I'm trying to keep the vlogs where they're no more than like 30 minutes long. Because me personally, I watch YouTubers as well. And I like when they give me at least like a 30 minute episode because I feel like that's enough content to really just kind of like follow them around, see what they're doing, whatever. Um, and I don't mind our contents either if it's going to be good, but you want our content to actually be interesting because nobody wants to sit for an hour if you really ain't got anything interesting to show or say. Um, and I'm trying to learn how to not ramble and be so long of speaking if it's not needed information, obviously. So I just want to explain that just, you know, just to give you guys an idea of it. So anyways, I'm going to take you guys with me and yeah, so I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey y'all, just checking back in with you. I'm in the Costco line getting some gas. My facial, y'all, look. This facial popping. My first time getting microderma. Um, apparently, she said my skin was really congested. So I needed to get that. Um, and then they suckered me into some products. But no, I, I most likely needed them because my pores do keep getting clogged quite a bit. Um, so she suggested that I do a um, double cleanser. If y'all haven't heard of it, I guess this this it's probably not new, but it's a popular thing now where you do like this first cleanser and then you do a second cleanser. I think it's like an oil cleanser and then a, your normal cleanser and then just exfoliating more throughout the week. Um, so I'm on like a kind of new regimen. Um, so I'll keep y'all posted on how well it does with keeping these pores because like y'all see my pores get really big and she had to like decongest them things so anyways um uh, auto center place i told you i need to go to I actually need to be there in the next 25 minutes um and then i don't know i really do need to go to hobby lobby again so i can hang these picture frame no these mirrors that i bought from hobby lobby so i can also hang my picture frames um, and then that's it. So I'm gonna just continue to take y'all with me. Y'all, right, $71 later, which isn't bad because you know what? At a point in time, it was exactly like 80, 83. So, and I mean, I wasn't completely empty. Um, I had about 30 miles left. I normally don't like to wait for there to be that low. 
but because I choose to come to Costco, feet. turn right onto North Front Street. I gotta wait until I can actually come to a Costco. So, anyways, let me stop vlogging because I am driving. But yeah, seventy-one dollars later. Let me just tell y'all, LA's gas is expensive as fuck. For premium, I pay four forty-nine. Turn right onto North Front Street. Sometimes cheaper at Costco. But if I don't go to Costco, y'all. I will literally have to pay like five dollars or five fifty, depending on Continue where I'm going. For one mile. So yeah, okay. This is why I go to Costco. Typically, I wouldn't want my gas to get lower than like fifty miles, but thirty miles is, which fifty miles is a quarter of a tank. But anyways, that's it. Okay, I'll be back. What's in front of me, please tell me no. I actually have not been to IKEA since I got a car. Please tell me no. The auto place is right here next to it. Don't judge me. Judge your mama, okay? I'm in Ikea's parking lot. About to go in Ikea. Now, damn well, this was an impromptu trip for sure. I had no intentions on being in Ikea. But like I told y'all, it's literally across the street from the auto body place that I was going to. So, I'm just going to go in here because, I mean, when do you never not need anything from Ikea? Never. You always could use something in Ikea. So, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to see what's in there. I'm probably going to go to their little food spot because I'm hungry. Hungry. Famish. D dying. <laughs> hungry. Um, and it's warm, y'all. It was chilly earlier and I'm hot. <sighs> Sweating off my facial. Um, yeah, so I was talking to my friend, um, one of, like, one of, like, my best friends, um, on the phone. She wanted me to do some design stuff for her. I'm like, girl, I'm not about to charge you. What you talking about, girl? Uh, please. Um, just because it's simple enough for me. Anyway, but that don't mean I ain't going to charge you or charge somebody else. Just saying. Um, <laughs> nah, but I'm about to go in there, y'all. I'm still... Um, but no, I have my work phone and all that stuff. So, and I have my laptop here. So, obviously, I'm just running there real quick because I really am hungry. I'm trying to get something, and then that's what I said. Um, I am still around the corner from Costco because it was literally only a five minute drive from where I'm at. Which also there was a Walmart. So. <sighs> I don't need to be in any of these places, y'all. Don't need to be. But I may go in there just because I am looking for some stuff. So, yeah, that's all that's it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, y'all, I am leaving Ikea. You will be happy to know. And yes, I got a double mask on because look, I ain't clean people. But you'd be happy to know that I only bought three things. One of their reusable bags because it was like a black and white one. It was pretty cute. And I think I only own one Ikea bag, actually. So I figured to get one of those because come in handy for a lot of big items. Um, and then I got refills for the um, lint rollers. Because I always feel like you have to end up buying a whole new lint roller. But I saw that they had like a four pack of uh, refills. So I just grabbed that. Definitely needed that. Um... And then I got the little like cork um, heat placemats. You know, the one that you just put down when you're cooking food. You don't want to put it on the counter or anything like that. So I just got that. Um, where you can put like, you know, hot pots, stuff like that on. So yeah, y'all, that's all, that's it. That's the three items that I got. Um, that's the three items that I got. Um, let me show y'all the baggie real quick. See, it's a cute little white bag. And then the refills, just so you know what I'm talking about. These refills. Um, and then the little cork place things. So that's all I got, y'all. But I was in there for a while because I was looking at this mattress thing. But, you know, I ain't getting it. So, uh, excuse my vlogging all over the place. About to go and get some food um sorry y'all gonna go get, get some food and that's all that's it that's all that's it decided to um, stop 
stop and get Filipino food. I ate here before with some old work co-workers um, and I was really craving the Filipino food. Filipino food is real good if y'all haven't tried it. And so I'm gonna eat at this place called Max's um, here in like uh, LA area. So I'm gonna show y'all the menu, show y'all what I get. It is officially Friday dinner date with myself, honey. Hey y'all, hey, so I'm just coming back to close out the vlog. Um, I know the last thing we had did was we hung out at Max's uh, Filipino's restaurant and it was damn good y'all. I still got <clears throat> most of that pork and the rice. So I have that and what else did I do yesterday? So the last thing that I had did yesterday was I had went inside of Marshall's because I've been looking to replace the um, the little like shelves that hang on the wall that's in my living room I'm sure you guys have seen them the gold ones I want to replace them because obviously they're two different shapes and I didn't get them at the same time and one was black and I painted it gold um just for the moment but I'm trying to find two matching shelves you know what I'm saying so yesterday I was inside of Marshall's and I was so excited because for those of y'all that may or may not know I'm obsessed with candles I've showed candles on here before so Y'all may know my obsession. Um, I thought this one was super cute. Um, it was from Marshall. It says, my dog is my valentine. Which is going to be very true. My dog is going to be my valentine. So I got this one from Marshall. It's for $7. And then I got this one too. Oh, guys, it smells so good. It's a uh, Shea Coconut scent by uh, Sensational. I haven't tried this brand, but I have tried, I think this one, oh no, I actually haven't tried this one either, Leo Ben Co. I don't know. This one's hair created in California, and this one is created in Florida, so they're USA created, um, but anyways, I love candles, so I'm going to try those out. I'll let y'all know the next time if they burn, burn well, because I had showed y'all this brand before, and this one is the 20... The 228 Grant Street. This one is burning really well, y'all. Y'all can see that it's uh, even. So I still got a little bit left to burn from that. This is also 228 Grant. Problem is, is look how it burned. I hate that. Because look how much wax is wasted. And it burned all the way down. So I can't burn it anymore. So anyways, disappointed about that. But these were gifts, so... You know, I guess it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for hanging with me. I'm trying to keep the vlogs pretty semi you know relevant but like no longer than 30 minutes is my goal unless it's something that's really festive like a event or traveling then that's different but like if they're just hanging with me vlogs I'm trying to keep them underneath 30 minutes just so they're relevant and it you know you guys feel like you know you want to sit and watch the whole things or whatever but whoever is watching I really appreciate it um let me just tell y'all something real real quick it's not easy jumping into the social media world right um youtube instagram any of that stuff whether you do reels whether you do youtube whether you do one or the other or whatever your content is about it's not easy and i just saw a social media influencer that worked his way up and he's pretty well known now say that like people will be like where are you why didn't you post anything why didn't you do this and it's like it's hard it's just hard it's hard so i love doing this for y'all i love that y'all tune in and if y'all do have questions that y'all want to know about me, if there's things that you just want to ask, please feel free. I'm such an open book and I do not mind sharing and helping. So again, thank you for tuning in and I'll see y'all next week in another vlog. Bye!